7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Et décollage VS26, Galio Fort M9. Par mettre à bord son normaux. Raphael, that was very impressive. That a ball of fire uh, rolling uh, into the sky. Du lanceur. I, I cannot get tired of it. I bet. Like really, it's very always very impressive. Uh, and this is like you know, passing through the the clouds. What sort of speed is it going I, at it now? It is night. You cannot, uh, like, you can hardly imagine that it's night right now because it's so bright. It's so bright. The light. So right now, Soyuz is providing oh, the main luminous. thrust for the mission to escape really the gravitational uh, pole of, uh, of the Earth. And in, in a few seconds, uh, we should see the separation of the four lateral boosters that are surrounding the main core. I mean, you can imagine that in two minutes, the Soyuz will have gone from zero two. to about 50 kilometers of altitude. That's actually quite incredible. From zero to two kilometers per second. Bonne stabilisation du lanceur. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Like what, what this is probably now say? faster than like, like a bullet. Faster than a faster bullet than right a now. Bullet. Yeah. You've got the, um, the earpiece. What is the DDO? What did he just say then? It, it said that everything is, is nominal, the trajectory is nominal, so uh, everything's looking good for Soyuz right now. So you can see the light coming from the four boosters. So in 10 seconds, we will have the confirmation, won't we, of the separation of the boosters? And during this... Yeah, oh wow, oh you wow. can see it. We can see it, it's wow, incredible. That's really incredible. What a sight, Raphael. Because usually you can see it in daylight, but yeah. At night, it's At night, very it's rare. It's quite incredible. Yeah. Must be Separation des blocs BVGD. So we should be in the some seconds as well. No, so, so it's confirmed. It, it's separated. You, you saw it. And uh, you can tell that uh, Soyuz is now waiting only, <laughs> I'm saying only, 100 tons. It was 310 tons before. So it lost 70% of its weight. Wow, that's quite incredible. But um, so it's got four boosters. Is this specific to Soyuz? Yeah, we can see now on the uh, the 3D images. It has four boosters. Can you talk to us about that? Well, Spec I mean, the size and the number of the boosters um, that you need for a flight really depends on how much power you want to give to your rocket to uh, place the satellites into space. On Soyuz, you have four boosters. On Ariane 5, we have two, but they are bigger. On Vega, we have one booster. So it really depends on... Uh, on uh, the, the performance that uh, is required for, for the mission. With Ariane 6, we will have two versions, one with two boosters and one with four boosters, okay. depending also on the performance of the launch uh, vehicle. To give you an idea, with Ariane 62, um, you can, uh, with Ariane 64, you can double the mass of the satellites to be put into, for example, geostationary transfer orbit. So if we look up the... Um the images which are coming up now, the 3D images, the wonderful image of the, uh, the launch vehicle. What can we see? You can see the altitude, distance, speed. So right now it's 117 and kilometers of altitude. And sorry to interrupt, in three seconds we will just, sorry, we will also be having the separation of the fairing. There we go. Altitude du lanceur, conforme à l'attendu. That's just been confirmed, has it not? It is confirmed. So now it's confirmed, and it's a very Brilliant. good news because the, the, the mission can continue. You can imagine that it's an important step. Otherwise, we could not release the satellites into space. So it means that we are above the atmosphere, um, Les à bord sont and that the satellites don't need the protection of the fairing anymore. Uh, it was protecting them from the friction of the air. So if I've understood rightly, we are now waiting for the separation of the second stage. Is that right? Yes. Uh, it's right, and this is a, a peculiar um, separation because the third stage is going to ignite two seconds before, and this is actually the ignition of the third stage that will push the second stage and separate it 
from the rest of the launch vehicle. And it should come any, any second seconds now. now. There we go. So waiting for the confirmation of the DDO. Because I remind that this is a 3D simulations here. Allumage blocky, extinction blocky, and separation. So it's confirmed. That's so brilliant. The That's really can brilliant continue. news. Another important step. So the achieved. second stage, or the main core, has now been separated. The third stage remains the one that powers the launch. What is the role of each of these stages for the launcher? Well, ha having several stages increases the mass uh, of the satellites to be put into bon orbit. Stabilisation suite à séparation. So the principle is rather simple, and we progressively, progressively, sorry, get rid of any mass on the launcher that is useless. It's like uh, if you want an image, you can consider a fuel truck. Let's consider that the truck is driving using the gas contained in its tanks. When the first tank in, uh, is empty, it becomes completely useless, uh, so it becomes uh, dead weight, if you will, and we just remove uh, this dead weight to make the rest of the rocket lighter and to gain power to continue the mission.